Meg caught yelling at WME staff Jill at Lucky's restaurant after she failed to deal with French sportswear brand. Yesterday, Deux Mois released a photo of Meghan Markle hanging out with the staff in WME. She looked incredible at Lucky's restaurant in Santa Barbara. Her photo was caught by someone who managed to grab this incredibly close picture without anyone noticing. She was a nightmare in the restaurant. Just nasty and awful from the minute she walks in, expecting better than just a celebrity royal treatment. Noticeably, when she eats out with Harry, they go to the sushi restaurant, even though he hates sushi, and he buys a steak from Lucky's, which he eats in the sushi restaurant. But when he's not there, she goes to Lucky's. How does that make sense? According to the source, Megan had lunch with Jill Smoller. Jill has been working as Serena Williams' agent and senior vice president sports at William Morris Endeavour for 22 years. At one point, a guest caught Megan being furious and yelling at Jill, as Jill announced that Meghan had failed to make a deal with French sportswear giants as a new brand ambassador. Meghan was seen in desperate and unhinged then when she was sitting with WME staff. Moreover, Jill can't help Meghan get the deal, although she is a sports agent. It's because Meghan has no qualities or even connections to sports. Meghan's legs aren't model worthy. Serena will probably get this ambassador position after she gives birth to a second child. It comes after Meghan Markle's former friend has slammed the Duchess of Sussex for publicising her ongoing charity work after claiming that she wanted privacy. TV presenter Lizzie Cundy, who struck up a friendship with Meghan in 2013, said it's a shame that Meghan and Harry feel the need to document each charitable act they take on. Look, I'm going to be honest with Meghan and Harry. Obviously I knew Meghan before she got with Harry, Cundy told the Daily Star. I just think it's great that they're doing the charity work, but I think it's a bit of a shame that they have to do it with the camera crew there. Cundy branded the six-part Netflix documentary as a publicity stunt, urging the couple to refrain from filming each good thing they do. Why are they doing it? I just think maybe do some good stuff without the cameras there for a pat on the back, she told the outlet. They haven't been seen together for a long time, and I just think this is, hmm, shall I say, a publicity stunt perhaps? Cundy, who no longer boasts a friendship with Meghan, went on to share some sound advice from pal and music mogul Simon Cowell. I think people know real things. Simon Cowell always says to me, be real, because the audience can see through it, she said, adding, I just think that now people have seen through Meghan. In March, Cundy told GB News that she really got on with Meghan after the pair met at a charity dinner in 2013, before the short-lived friendship ultimately crumbled. Cundy's comments come just days after Harry was this week quietly stripped of his Royal Highness from his profile page.